and some good results in the Champions League so far. And Atletico Madrid on match day two. Benfica in the UEFA Youth League, by the way. They've made a superb start to that competition. They beat Estan 8 0 in their opening game. And then they beat Atletico Madrid. Here's Sanchez. Went for the shot. He had plenty of options. He shaped up to strike it a couple of times, didn't he? Two, two, two players and continue the run. Free kick after free kick at the moment. Again, Sanchez uh, the perpetrator. Musonda not too impressed with it. Well, I think we've got to play at a tempo. That's the, the way these lads like to play. Maurice Mitchell shot pretty comfortably dealt with by Miguel Santos. He's in them free and clear. Quintero. Shots on for Quintero, deflected. Oh, so close to 1 0. Feel lucky, isn't he? I was good at taking play. Another player we haven't seen anything of in this opening 25 minutes or so. He's done well. Electric pace there, gets away from two players. Got a clear sight of goal, takes the shot on. Slight deflection, it could have gone in. Crosses, but again, causing one or two problems. They have to clear. Chelsea just starting to ratchet up the pressure as we head toward half an hour gone. from Sanchez Silva screaming forward to his right played it through the middle instead and a good hand on to it from Collins and just about did enough second time round to deny Joao Carvalho oh brilliant I'd have to say brilliant from Bradley Collins I mean super defending isn't it Carvalho's free and clear should have done better I guess but he's gone for the little clip over the top and Bradley stays big, big enough long enough to be able to stick out an outstretched hand, and both. But um, I think sometimes you, you just say to players, you can coach them all day long, but you ask players to play what they can see as well. And sometimes that's what they see, and they they play that, and and often it will work. You know, you go with your gut instinct. Pass was short, and Sanchez has won it back for Benfica. And there's a chance here for the visitors, and the shot deflects on its way behind from uh, Gilson Costa. Sloppy play though, we give the ball away in a bad area in a way. Mr. Mori. A bit short to Misonda. Cross deflected. Which one worked that free kick? I, when we saw these two teams walking out, I did think that they had a physical presence, they had a height advantage. So trying to work something different from a free kick is good for me. I'm lucky there not to get a little bit more out of this. Or oh, might do now, Tammy Abraham, his first big chance. Slightly behind him, wasn't it? Does well, doesn't he, Tammy? What a good ball. This is the ones we're talking about from Charlie Colkin. He brings them in a bit flatter with a bit more pace. Under a little bit of pressure. Just too quick on the whistle, the referee needs to really take a breath before he blows it. Robocho, he's taking the armband. It's a good cross as well, and Collins couldn't get there. And Benfica are taking the lead. Well, it has been coming, and eventually it's turned in by Diogo Goncalves. A disappointed end to the first half, isn't it? A good little ball to the far post. There was a call of. Brad from one of the defenders and I think they were expecting Bradley Collins to come and take it he doesn't and then the ensuing result is that Concalvers was first to the ball and sticks it into the back of an open net and it's very very scruffy defending really should have been we had to keep the game moving keep the game flowing we need a buzz we need something to kick start the second half and I think you're right a change might do that or a miss on the free kick better what's the save from Santos That should give us a bit of a lift, let's hope it does. Control from Darbo. Smashed over his cross as well. Better, much, much better. I mean, good play all around. You know, the first shot from the free kick by Charlie. Calvez, the goal scorer to take. Poor delivery again. Put it 
back here though, Goncalves. That's a better ball, and it's 2 0. And Benfica have got one foot in the knockout stages. All too easy again for the Portuguese that time. Goncalves, the scorer of the first, turns provider for the second. It was easy for Joao Carvalho. That's a quality ball in first and foremost. Great opportunity, sees a gap between defenders and goalkeeper. Fires it across the six-yard box. Simple tapping in the end. Bar mistake was not attacking that particular ball. Mukhtar gets his head to the second bounce, but we really should have attacked it initially and get that ball. Don't let it bounce in the penalty. Get to the ball first. We don't deal with that. And after that, it's a bit of a lottery. Bounces free for them and, well, simple tapping. Carvalho, the man to watch. Can Goncalves pick him out again? Just struggling to get it clear here. And it's three. And any doubt about the result is surely over now. Ruben Diaz, the substitute, taking the congratulations. Lots of bodies in there. But the key fact is that it's Chelsea nil, Benfica three. Yeah, some weak challenges coming in there on the edge of the box, isn't there? The ball, the ball in wasn't a particularly good one. We don't deal with that. We don't get to the ball first. Don't make contact. They have a the little bit of luck, maybe. We're lucky for Bradley Collins, who gets something on the final shot that trickles over the line. But, but there we see you know, two players out of a position, making weaker challenges. And, and maybe, you know, Tammy Abraham back there trying to make the challenge. You know, he's, he's not a defender. He needed a defender in there to try and win that ball. He's right. He's got to try to clip one up toward Ali. Pereira almost managed to thread that through for Goncalves. He's Musonda now. Reese Mitchell waiting in the middle. Can Ali pick him out? Darbo in there too. We don't blame him for taking the shot on there. Mukhtar, he's had a go, hasn't he? Come up against teams like this again. Maybe see ways of breaking them down and securing it at the back as well. So it's a big learning curve for everybody as well. Darbo. Ouch. Ali. You have to be quick here, Chelsea. Samak. Well, that should be that. Indeed, it is. It's a heavy defeat, unfortunately, for Chelsea on match day two in the Premier League International Cup. Speaking of the better team, they've won it by three goals to nil.